It looks like we're at war. With who and why? What are the implications? Coming up next on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Deceptions of the Ages News. Things are getting serious. They are getting very serious. And I just want you to know that conservative channels like myself, conservative politicians like myself, are being massively censored. As you know, if you want to support me, if you want to support my cause and American freedom, go ahead and listen to the end of the video. There will be a brief message on how you can get a cool Support Trump t-shirt. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of what we're talking about today. Dominion uh, ballot counting. I'm sure you've heard the name. Well, I want to talk about not the incidences of voter fraud in places like Venezuela or the fact that how many world leaders are fraudulent? How many have been elected and shouldn't be in office? How many United States governors, state representatives, senators should not be there? Does this really not explain why Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and the rest of the Democrats won't help the American people during this coronavirus? Well, think about it. If they know they're gonna be in office, they don't have to do anything to help the American people because they know the election was rigged. Now, there's an aha moment going on all across America where people are saying, aha, they called the election on election night for uh, Biden. Biden was ready to seize power. It was a coup. It was a complete and total coup. But this was not a military coup. This was a coup that was uh, implicated, that was, um, I don't know, organized by a massive group of people. It involves these fraudulent voter machines. It involves fraudulent ballot counters. It involves a fraudulent media, and it involves a fraudulent Fox News who tried to call the election for um, Joe Biden on election night. And um, also, when you're saying, aha, then just remember that California, Washington, all the states that Donald Trump did not campaign in, they all had 30% for Donald Trump and whatever else for Joe Biden. Nobody batted an eye. Nobody said, wait a minute, who counted those votes? How did they get their votes counted so fast and they're still counting votes now? How does that happen? Are these voting machines so good or are they just fraudulent and nobody cares anymore? Well, I really think that based on what Sidney Powell, uh, the defense attorney for General Flynn has found out and Rudy Giuliani has found out that basically they are treating the United States like a banana republic. Now, this is where you need to wake up, America. I don't care if you voted Democrat or not, because if if it's a Republican and they say, well, the Democrat votes don't count, we don't have a democracy there either. So I don't care what side of the spectrum you're on. This is the biggest attack on you that has been that has happened since World War II, since the Japanese hit Pearl Harbor. So this attack, though, has been going on for years. You have done nothing about it. It started with bringing in people that hate America. They just took away in 1996. They passed a law that said, you don't have to, we can allow terrorists. We can allow any Islamic fundamentalist uh, murderers into this country. We can allow warlords. We can allow war criminals. We can allow anybody we want or anybody the government wants in the country. Why? to fight against the American people. And look at the agreement that every immigrant signs. It says during a national emergency, you will be recruited. So that's what is going on. We have become a third world country. They have slowly moved an army into the United States. Now, if you don't think this has ever happened before, go ahead and watch this brief commercial message. Hello everybody, do you support President Trump? Do you like cool t-shirts? Well, I sure like both. I love the president and I sure like to wear a cool, interesting t-shirt like the one I'm wearing now. 
I didn't make this t-shirt, but I do make really interesting t-shirts to support President Trump. If you want to get one of these interesting t-shirts, just go to redbubble.com slash hindsight and check out our many t-shirts. Uh, we have mini skirts, we have towels, we have anything you could imagine with pro-Trump logos plastered all over them. It'll drive the liberals crazy. So go ahead and go to redbubble.com slash hindsight and get your merch today. Now back to the show. Hi, thanks for watching that message. The same as what happened um, in Mexico is happening in the 1800s before the Civil War is happening right now. Uh, we owe millions and or billions and trillions of dollars uh, to banks. And um, they cannot have people coming in and voting for somebody that says, we're going to make our country first compared to everybody else in the world. These are multinational corporations. The United States is no different to them than Panama. It's no different than Venezuela. It's no different than Malaysia or Singa or Singapore or um, any other uh, third world country. They are just here to make sure their businesses are secure. And when people like Donald Trump take power and say, no, the American people do not have to pay for prescription drugs at the highest rate possible. When we say, no, we're not gonna send our people overseas to die for blood and oil. Well, that goes against all of these big money people. Now, they launched the coronavirus. And I know that everybody in America and around the world is saying, aha, I see it. They launched the coronavirus from China, then the Democrats shut everything down. They shut down the economy. Then they stole the election. During the election, Joe Biden didn't even leave his basement. Why? Because he knew. He knew it was all rigged. So these are the implications that you need to think about. Number one, to you, you are a peasant. You have no rights whatsoever. And then once you stop consuming, you have no value to anybody. So remember that but you do have value as an American citizen as long as you have the right to vote and your vote counts. Now, we need to talk about the war. The war is on Twitter. The war is on Facebook. And I don't mean on it. I mean, we're not fighting the war on, so don't log on to Facebook and Twitter. I mean, shut them down. I mean, if you are on Facebook and you're on Twitter and you're on Google and whatever else these people that are trying to manipulate our election if you watch Fox News if you you know even support any Democrat supporting industry or business or franchise you are supporting communist China you're saying take my vote away and treat me like they treat the people in China or they treat the people in Myanmar or Venezuela or anywhere else where if you speak up they put you in jail and they're doing it to American citizens right now. So you got to make a choice. You either, you know, some people are going to fight this war. I mean, I'm fighting it right now. The only reason I'm on Google, I have started a thing called Hot News. Check it out, hotnews.com. I want to make a new version of YouTube. Um, I started my own store delivery service because I wanted uh, Amazon to not corner that market. So I do things in order to fight the battle. I run for office because I don't sit there and just say things and say, oh, this really sucks and I don't do anything about it. No, I'm a man of action. And now, whether you're a man, woman, child, whatever you are, you need to start taking action. Stop using Twitter, stop using Google, stop using Facebook, unless you're encouraging people to get off of it. I use Parler. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know who owns them, but for right now, I use Parler because it's an alternative. As I said, I, if I can get support for my hot news, which I wanted to get elected so I could get uh, um, minority people to run my hot news, um, you know, channel, then um, that was my plan. But right now, we really have to be serious about what we're doing. Every day you're at war, every day you're under attack, and you have been. But 
this attack is going to continue on you. It's going to continue on your children. And by the time your children have children, those kids will be so messed up in the mind, genetically. Um, we, we don't know what if they'll even be classified as human beings. So the choice is yours to make. I'm Matthew Hines. If you want to support this channel even more, please watch this brief message. Do you wish everything was free? Do you wish you didn't have any bills to pay? Well, here at Deceptions of the Ages News, we wish that all the time. Unfortunately, it's just not true. But what is true is we have some fantastic books and they're for sale at hindsight.com, especially Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and extraterrestrials. It's available wherever you buy books or go to hindsight.com and get an autographed edition. Now, let's go back to our program. Thanks for watching that brief message. Again, I'm Matthew Hines for Deceptions of the Ages News. It's a very serious and dangerous time. We need to take everything seriously. I ask you for, my, for your support for my political campaign. I ask you to support me by purchasing my books at hindsight.com and go to redbubble.com slash hindsight and purchase some of my great Pro Trump t-shirts. All right. Well, there you go. That's how you support me. And that's how you support Liberty. I also want to add that if you buy any of my Trump, pro Trump, where's Joe Biden or Joe Biden for prison paraphernalia, you're also supporting 10% of the profits that will be sent to President Trump's reelection defense fund. So this is Deceptions of the Ages news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.